Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to perform a count if based on the month name. So that can either be the name in full or abbreviated. Now the first function we're gonna use is date value. And the date text is our month name, abbreviated or not. And you have to concatenate that with the number one. Now what that will return is the serial number of a date, which has February as its month. Now we don't have to worry about the year. All we have to do is extract the month part of that date. So we put that within the month function. And now it's returning the number two, which is the number of this month. So if I type January in here, it would return one and March it would return three. So what we have to do is evaluate which of these dates in column A have the same month number, the number three. Now we can do that by just running a test. So the test would be month, and then I'd need to select all of these dates. So I click in the first date, control shift down arrow key, control backspace, takes me back to my formula, close the bracket, equals, and then the result of my other formula, which returns this month number. So if I press enter, you can see that what it's doing is returning a series of trues and falses. And I've got trues at the bottom here, and those correspond to the March dates at the bottom of my list. If I change this to Feb, then I'd get trues further up the list. Now what I need to do is convert these trues and falses to ones and zeros so I can add up the ones. And I can do that at the beginning of the formula just by adding zero to these results. Now I will need to put these tests in a further set of brackets for it to work. But you can see now I'm getting a series of ones and zeros. And all I have to do is add up those ones. So I put the whole thing in the sum function. So if I look in my data set here and select all of the February dates, you can see down here, I get a count of nine. So this formula is correct. Now, the other way you could do this is with the filter function. Now I would take that test that I've already devised because I'm gonna need that for the filter function. I'm gonna copy that, control C and the array would be my dates comma and include would be that test that i already devised for the other formula and then if i close the bracket for filter you can see it returns all of those dates and then all i'd need to do is count them i get the same result Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.